वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इंडेक्सिंग ऑफ द लैटिस प्लेन्स सो सी हियर एक्चुअली द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द प्लेन्स इन अ गिवन लैटिस इज इंडिकेटेड बाय द इंडेक्स ऑफ द प्लेन व्हाट द ओरिएंटेशन the orientation of a given plane in a lattice is indicated by the index of plane the index of plane okay and this method of this method of marking the planes how symbolically symbolically was made by was made by the british crystallographer the english crystallographer W H Miller, W H Miller in 1839, and therefore the indices or the index of planes are called as are called as the Miller, the Miller indices. The index of plane is called as the Miller indices. so in this video we are going to learn about the crystallographic planes so let us see the crystallographic planes what are they and how to represent that the single plane or the families of plane let us see so we are going to learn about the crystallographic planes in that it so in that we are going to learn how to represent or representation of representation of a single plane single plane definitely we are going to draw some sketches for these planes how to represent that a single plane then how to represent the family of the plane okay so let us first we learn how to represent present a single plane suppose the suppose the plane is given with x y z okay so these are the indices actually x y on plane x y z axis pe aapko dikhana hai plane okay and it is represented as this suppose plane for example i am saying for example plane 100 okay this is a single plane i am representing the plane 100 so how to read that so please remember this plane is given in this parenthesis in this bracket it is read as one plane 100 it's not a plane 100 isn't it or plane say 111 there is plane 111 you should not read like this it is 111 it is plane 111 okay so this is how we can read the plane and if and of course the plane is always written in this parenthesis in this bracket now if i want to represent the representation of the family of plane okay how to represent the family of plane suppose for example i am taking this plane plane 100 then what are the families i am right i am going to write the family of plane 100 then we should not use this parenthesis bracket 
we should use for that the curly bracket the family of the plane is always given in the curly bracket okay so what are these families of plane 1 0 0 so it may be like this the family 1 0 0 we can have 0 1 0 we can have 0 0 1 okay now there is again one doubt or question you can say if the plane any indices is negative so how to represent the negative indices in the plane so please remember if any negative plane is there negative indices is there so suppose here one is negative negative one zero zero plane is what negative one zero zero kya karna aapko yaha pe negative ke liye negative one we should not write like this it should be right like this one bar so when you will find a plane is represented something like this in this parenthesis so it is a it should be read as suppose this is negative one negative one and this one plane negative one negative one and one so negative indices should be written with the bar okay so here for this family of one zero zero we can have the negative plane also that is negative one zero 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 negative one zero and zero zero negative so if this is the family of plane one zero zero so these six planes are fall in the family of this one zero zero so this is the representation of a single plane or the representation of the family of the plane so let us take some examples we will draw it here various planes say for examples we are going to take here say plane 100 we are going to draw it plane 110 we are going to draw it plane 111 on xyz axis okay so i will write the right hand coordination system right now right hand coordinate system this is our x this is y and this is z isn't it so draw this cube okay now here we are going to show the plane 100 zero, zero. so x is what i i locate this origin o here okay so x1 positive 1 so i will mark this x1 y0 and z also 0 so if i mark this that is plane 100 zero, zero. so i will get this plane see i am shading this plane with this red pen so you can able to understand so this is our plane 100 zero, zero. this is our plane 100 zero, zero. now if I take this plane, I want to represent this plane on x, y, z axis. This is x, this is origin, this is y, and this is z axis. I can get okay. So one zero zero, sorry one one zero. So see here, x is positive one. Okay, x one y is here positive one one this is our origin so we get this we have to join this x and y so see here i am joining this okay so again go parallelly okay and join these corresponding points so you will get here the shaded plane one one zero because z is zero there okay so this is plane one one zero in same manner we can have this plane this is x y and z
so here x1 y1 and z1 so we can join these points so see you get here your plane 1 1 and 1 so this is how we can get the planes now see if i write the names at the corners say this is a b c d this is e f g and this is the h okay so please remember that now hence further in this chapter please remember we are requiring these planes many times for calculation of the planar density for calculation of the linear density we need these planes in simple cubic structure in face centered uh, face uh, centered cubic structure then body centered cubic structure every in every structure to find out their linear densities planar densities we need to have these all planes we will going to find out the densities for each planes okay so hence further please remember plane a b c d is plane 1 0 0 see here this is a d and what f g so please remember 1 0 0 kaisa dikhega it will this a b c d this is plane a b c plane 1 0 0 plane 1 1 0 kaisa dikhega this is the plane a f g d plane a d f g this is your plane 1 1 0 and this is plane what this is e d and g plane e d g will be your plane 1 1 and 1 hence further we are going to uh, require all these planes many times okay so please keep it in mind now all these planes we represented are all positive ye to negative bhi ho sakte okay let us learn how to uh, put this negative planes on this x y z axis let us learn so what i'm going to do here just i'm having the negative one this one negative one or all this negative 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 one okay we can draw let us see how to draw so plane one negative one zero zero the procedure is same just the thing is uh, that we just go we are going to shift the origin okay let us see here so the regular i'm drawing this cube a b c d e f g h isn't it And now here see this is x axis y axis and this is z axis what i'm going to do i want this one negative one on x axis x coordinate y zero z zero so what i'm going to do do see here this is x positive this is x positive by one unit isn't it so if i shift the origin from here this is actually origin for this from here uh, to here I'm going to shift this origin and now my axis will be looking like this this is y and this is z so x kitna piche gaya? 1 so this is x is positive in this direction and it is negative in this direction isn't it so x become negative 1 y is still 0 and z is still 0 so you get this here so this plane actually you got this plane as plane negative one zero zero same fashion we can have this plane also let us see what we can do here x y z i'm getting this cube now see here i want x positive okay okay but here y negative one so instead of having this origin this is origin now see what i'm going to do i'm going to shift this origin here okay i'm going to shift this origin here now this is my x y and z y is there this is my z 
and this is my x okay so x of course positive one is there but here y see here from the y in this direction it is positive and here it is negative so i want what x positive one and y negative one see here from here to here y is negative one isn't it and i am now joining this okay and parallel to this this is a now you can see here this is plane one negative one and zero see now we have changed the origin to where here you get this negative plane go for finding out this plane for negative one negative one negative one do by your own try it so what we are going to get let us see x y and z let us see negative 1 negative 1 and negative 1 now what we are going to see here see here if i take this origin to at this point okay and we know z in this direction it will be negative y in this direction it will be negative and x in this direction it will be negative so just think so if i take the axis origin of this uh, three axis here see so i can get from here x negative i am getting this point y negative one i am getting this point and z negative i can get this point okay done so i got here these points now see i shifted this origin from here to this point now these are no more my axis now this these are my axis okay this is x this is y and this is z see i got here x negative one so x negative one so actually it is here so see here x negative one i got here that is negative i write in the form of coordinate with minus one zero zero i can write like this also or i get negative x here because it is here in this direction x is positive here x is negative so negative x this is negative y and this is negative z so this three point i got here i can join this so see i got here this plane negative one negative one and negative one like this we can able to draw these planes we can have the single plane representation we can also represent the family of planes now once we are getting this all the planes you can able to draw these planes now the second or next important uh, thing that we are going to learn is the miller indices how to draw this how to find out this miller indices let us learn it dear students let us now learn the miller indices the miller indices okay so let us learn some rules for uh, finding out this miller indices the first thing is that we have to locate the origin o and the axis x y and z do that first thing second thing find out the fractions of the plane find out the fractions of the plane of the plane rather i can say that find out the dimensions of the plane nothing but the intercepts say p q and r 
then find the take the reciprocal take the reciprocal of this reciprocal of the fractions of the plane very simple that is for x the intercepts are p q r they take the reciprocal 1 by r 1 by q and 1 by 1 by p 1 by q and 1 by r like this and after that convert it into convert these reciprocals convert these reciprocals into the least integers least complete integer least integer okay so these are the uh, actually rules to find out the miller indices so very simple first of all kya karna hai we should have the origin and three axis x y z on that we should find the dimensions of the plane or fractions or intercepts of the plane then take the reciprocal of that intercepts and finally convert it into the integer small integer okay so let us take example let us take some example so of course we are going to learn here the miller indices say for example find out the miller indices we take the examples so take the example number one find out the miller indices for the plane uh, x is a by 2 then it is a and it is a by 3 so it is given like this actually x y z and origin we located it then x is a by 2 so x is positive a by 2 it is this y is a y is a and z is a by 3 okay and it is given from here to here huh? this is the plane given and this distance is given this distance a by 3 this is this distance given a by 2 okay so this is the plane okay for that we are going to find the miller indices so first of all what locate kar diya humne okay now here we are going to find the intercepts or plane fractions okay so yahan pe kya karenge pehle intercepts kahan pe on x y and z axis so what is intercepts for this x this is a by 2 from origin it is a by 2 it is a by 2 for y it is a for y it is a and for z it is from origin how much if this is a side of this cube a so a minus a by 3 that is what 2 a by so z is 2a by 3 let us see now next thing is what what we are going to do take the reciprocals take the reciprocals kya hai iske that is 2 by a 1 upon a and 3 upon 2a isn't it and what to do to get convert it into the complete integer okay so see it it is not allowed like this so we have to convert it into complete integer kya karna padega humko so if i multiply here with the 2 a everywhere so what i can get here the miller indices please remember given by h k and l so this is actually plane a by 2 a and a by 3 then for that plane our miller indices will be represented by in the parenthesis h k l r multiplied by 2a means kya ho jayega? this will be 4 2 and 3 so the miller indices for this plane will be what 4 2 and 3 dear students let us take some another examples 
we we have seen the various planes so let us find out the miller indices for the various planes so for example take the plane the examples continue for the miller indices so i'll take the plane 100 zero, zero. i will take the plane say 110 i will take the plane 111 one. let us see the miller indices for that okay now see for 100 zero, zero, we'll see the miller indices so if i have here these coordinates So which plane it is? I want 100, zero, zero. this is x, y and z, 100, zero, zero. so this is the plane, isn't it? 100, zero, zero. we know how to plot the plane, plane 100, zero, zero. now what is the procedure for middle indices? So we are having here x, y and z axis, so let us find the intercept, the intercepts triangle intercepts for x y and z so intercepts of this plane on x axis is how much it is 1 okay this is the plane and behind that we are having this o so this plane c here it is no more intersecting the z axis and y axis okay so it, this plane is parallel to this z axis Infinite, infinite, the gap to be carrega. Ye plane jo hai, one zero zero, it will be always parallel to the z, z axis. And in y direction, if you go for this plane, it's parallel to this y, y axis also. Okay, so if you go here in y direction, it will never intersect the y coordinate, isn't it? So, of course, if you see the intercept of this plane one zero zero on y and z axis. So, of course, these are infinite, isn't it? So, it is infinite. So, next, kya karna hai? take the reciprocals of the fractions. Reciprocals, kya hai? 1 upon 1, then 1 upon infinity, and 1 upon infinity. So, what are the values? 1 upon 1, you get 1 here. 1 upon infinity is 0 and it is 0 so these are nothing but the least integers we got and this is the Miller indices for this H K L are carrying 1 0 0 okay very simple now same fashion we can solve for this plane let us take that plane 1 1 0 plane 1 1 and 0 x y and z plane 1 1 so this is our plane we know this is 1 1 0 the name of the plane we know what is the name of the plane that is plane a d a d f g you should understood and keep it in mind the names of the plane very important we required it in planar density calculation linear density calculation okay for simple cubic body centered cubic and face centered cubic so see you can easily find out the intercept on x axis is 1 y axis is 1 and this plane see this plane is parallel to z axis so of course the intercept will be infinity so if i find out the reciprocal of this 1 upon 1 1 upon 1, 1 upon infinity, that is 1, 1, 0. So, HKL will be 1, 1 and 0. So, this is the Miller indices for plane 1, 1, 0. Uh, very fastly calculate the Miller indices for this plane. What is the name of the plane? Plane ADG, isn't it? Plane 111 plane? 111 plane hai? This is X, Y, Z, and D. 
this is 1 x1 y1 z1 you are getting this plane here कौनसा है E, D, G plane E D G is our plane one one one. So intercept on x axis it is one on y axis it is one on z axis it is one. Reciprocals will be one upon one 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 upon one one upon one one and least integer so one one one. So Miller indices will be one 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 for plane. One one one. Okay. So other last example. I if I take. So the plane was given like this. So the coordinates are given like this. This is one by three comma zero comma zero. This is zero comma two by three comma zero. And this is zero comma zero comma one. These are not the planes. These are the coordinates are given here for x, y, and z. And find out the Miller indices for this. Do it by your own. Very simple. X, Y, Z axis. Then we should find out the intercepts. Then the reciprocal of the intercepts and convert into least integer. Okay. What are the intercepts for x? Ha, one by three, y, two by three, and z one. Take the reciprocals three, three by two, and one. And to convert it into least integer, what we have to do? This three multiplied by two, this three multiplied by two divided by two, and this is two multiplied by one. So दो से multiply कर दिया कम complete integer करने के लिए. So this is six. Three and two. So this is your mirror indices H, K, L. Are what six, three, two. Very simple. So this is about the Miller indices. So dear students, after seeing some examples, we are definitely going to understand what are the important characteristics of the Miller indices. Let us see that. So what are the characteristic we will going to learn here? Or uh, I will see the properties of Miller indices. Properties of Miller indices. So property number one we can have here. If the plane, if the plane is parallel to the any axis, then its intercept on that plane is what? Just now we learned is zero. Suppose I am taking this plane. Plane one one one. If I take here, okay. So on z axis uh, and on y axis, when the intercept is zero, okay, then this plane is parallel to. This axis, isn't it? So this is the first property we can have. The plane is when the plane is parallel to to any axis, any axis. Then what is there? Then the corresponding intercept, corresponding intercept. On that axis is what is so here in instead of intercept I will write here because intercept is infinite I want the index the index on that plane on that plane is zero okay. So this is the first property. Second property, see, if I have two parallel planes, okay, I am taking the two parallel planes. So they are having quantitatively the same Miller indices, okay. Two parallel planes have quantitatively same. 
Miller indices. Same Miller indices. Okay. So if I take this, say this value of each side is A or unity, and if I'm having the plane, one is having half, half or half like that, or uh, two, 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 and I'm having plane one, one, one. So if I take this as a unity, then this is two, this is two, and this is two. So I will get suppose plane one, one, one here. That is plane one is that is two, 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 and plane one is what? One, one, one. Okay. So these plane two planes quantitatively their meaning is same their miller indices are same only okay two parallel planes the only the thing is that this is out of this cube so for more conveniency where we can get this we can take into the consideration the plane one 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 isn't it so these are actually two parallel planes this two 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 one 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 parallel planes they are quantitatively having same miller indices that is the thing third thing when two planes are there, when two planes are, when two planes are perpendicular, are perpendicular, that is one plane having the Miller indices H1, L, L1 or H1, K1, L1 and the another plane having the Miller indices h2 k2 l2 so when these planes are parallel perpendicular then please remember this h1 h2 plus k1 plus k1 k2 plus l1 into l2 is equal to 0 please remember this h1 h2 plus k1 k2 plus l1 l2 is equal to 0 when the two planes having the Miller indices H1, K1, L1, H2, K2, L2 are perpendicular, very important, are perpendicular, then this is satisfied. Okay, so this is the third thing. Fourth property that we are going to have, the fourth property, the angle, the angle between two planes. Okay, one plane is having Miller indices H1, K1, L1 and the other plane is having H2, K2, L2 is given by this cos of angle theta, theta is the angle between the two planes is equal to H1, H2 plus K1, K2 plus L1, L2 divided by square root of H1 square plus K1 square plus L1 square into h2 square plus k2 square plus l2 square so this is how we can able to find out the angle between the two planes right and the last so if we are having this miller indices h k and l so this is the atomic arrangement we are having so we can able to find out the intermolecular spacing or uh, that distance is given as d for h k l we can calculate okay so how to calculate that this is interlamellar spacing intermolecular spacing it is calculated as so d h k l is equal to 1 upon square root of this h upon a whole square plus k upon b whole square plus l upon c whole square please remember this okay and see this is the standard formula for this inter uh, molecular spacing okay or interatomic spacing uh, and when if we take the cubic structure when you take the cubic structure we know the relation between these lattice parameters a b c a is equal to b is equal to c so if i put here this a a a then if i take this a square common here so kya jayega? it will come to the numerator and i can write this d h k l for the cubic structure as what a divided by root of 
एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस के स्क्वायर प्लस एल स्क्वायर ओके सपोज दिस इज द एच स्ट्रक्चर तो क्या आएगा यहाँ पे फॉर द एच क्या आएगा वी डो ए इज इक्वल टू बी बट नॉट इक्वल टू सी अगर मैं एच सी पी रहता हूं तो क्या है फॉर एच सी पी ए इज इक्वल टू बी बट नॉट इक्वल टू सी देन वॉट विल बी हियर सो आई कैन राइट हियर यही क्या होगा कन्वर्ट दैट इज ए डिवाइडेड बाय रूट ऑफ एच स्क्वायर प्लस के स्क्वायर प्लस एल बिकॉज ए दिस इज ए दिस इज ए सो मैं तीनों में से अगर ए कॉमन निकाल तो सी अपॉन ए हो जाएगा इज इट so this is divided by c upon a l square so in short finally kya aayega a divided by root of h square plus k square plus l square into this a by c square so this is for dhcp so of course you can have the value in the nanometers let us take one example on that how to calculate let us see so see it the example is writing here so see here what is the example is here if a crystal structure have the lattice parameter a is given as 0.361 nanometer and plane is given as 222 okay so what is the value of this d small d hkl so it is equal to a divided by square root of this h square plus k square Plus e l square, so e is how much? Zero point three six one nanometer divided by root of h two square plus two square plus zero. So if you calculate, so it will become like zero point one two eight zero point one two eight nanometers. So this is we can this in this way we can able to calculate the uh, distance between the parallel planes. Dear students. let us now going to we are going to discuss about the the planar density what is planar density the planar density the planar density we are going to see it is indicated or represented by rho p so basically it is the ratio of the rho l is equal rho p sorry it's a planar density the number of the number of atoms divided by or it is a ratio of number of atoms and to the the area to the area of plane okay please remember here the number of atoms kon se the number of atoms whose center is intersected by selected plane okay suppose i am having this atom okay the plane is like this so only 1/4 of area of atom is covered in this plane so what is there so it is 90 degree and entire how many degrees for one circle one revolution 360 so it is 1 by 4 isn't it so for the atom is intersected like this By this plane, so one eighty. So it is how much? One eighty degree out of three sixty degree. So it is half. Okay, but see here, if the plane is going like this, it is not passing through the center. It is not taken. It is not considered. Say the plane is going like this, it should be go through the center. Isn't it? So please remember, in this way. for any plane we can able to calculate the planar density so i am going to calculate for uh, in simple cubic for fcc bcc and simple cubic structures let us take the first crystal structure the simple cubic okay so formula is what for planar density is equal to number of atoms divided by 
the area of the plane so of course area of the plane uh, will be will take in millimeter square so it is the density number of atoms per unit of area okay per mm square so let us take the first structure that is simple cubic you take the simple cubic structure ke liye dekhte so we know and we will take for the plane 100 plane 110 and plane 111 okay for see in case <coughs> like in simple cubic for this plane we are going to see the fcc and bcc also so fcc now what is plane 100 we know that i am not going to draw in details about the all these uh, crystal structure just we know that what is plane 100 that is a b c and d e. this is our plane 100 now we have learned this before okay how to draw these planes so in this plane 100 so number of atoms kitne hai dekho so at each corners we are having the atoms isn't it and they are touching actually to the each other okay we know this but see in this plane 100 what is the contribution of these atoms so 1 by 4th and how many are there four atoms are there isn't it so number of atoms kitne aayenge isme number of atoms we know that is 90 divided by 360 that is 1 by 4 isn't it into kitne hai 1 2 3 4 so kitne aa gaye 4 over 4 we get it 1 and what is the area if a is the lattice parameter length of this lattice a it is cubical we know that and the area will be what a square isn't it so very simple so what is this planar density for simple cubic may kaun sa plane 100 ke dekhe aayegi rho uh, rho p will be equal to That number of atoms कितने हैं one divided by a square. Okay, so one atom per mm square. Of course, a in every time I will write a in millimeter. Very simple, very simple. So ये हो गया simple cubic के लिए plane one zero zero. अब simple cubic का कौन सा plane लेंगे one one zero. Okay, कैसा दिखता है plane one one zero? It will look like this. Simple cubic में खाली क्या होते हैं corner पे Atoms rehte, no any body center, no any face center. Okay, so but you know what is this length of this? So for that, please remember. पहली बार दिखा देता हूँ मैं. I will draw here plane one one zero. So बाद में आपको कोई problem नहीं होगा. Okay, so plane one zero, plane one one. This this is x. y z plane 1 1 0 take the parallel so this is our plane 1 1 0 okay kaun sa naam kya hai plane ka this is a d f g what is the name of plane a d f g okay and we know that what is this length dg we know this is lattice parameter this is a a but here see this is actually diagonal isn't it so if this is a this is a by using pythagoras we can calculate what say this is i take it as y so y square is equal to a square plus a square so y square is equal to 2a square so this y is equal to what root 2 times a so the value of this dg see here dg क्या आएगी रूट टू ए एंड ए डीज वॉट इज लेटेस्ट पैरामीटर इज ए ओके सो वेरी सिंपल सो हेंस फर्दर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट एवरी टाइम दिस वैल्यू ऑफ डीजी डीजी वी नो रूट टू टाइम्स ए ए डी इज ए सो हाउ मिस दिस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हियर फॉर फ्रॉम द एटम्स वन बाय फोर्थ 
फॉर ईच कॉर्नर सो कितने हो गए प्लेन में कितने आइटम है वन बाय फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय चार आइटम्स सो कितने हो गए वन इज एंड इट एंड एरिया क्या हो गया एरिया रूट टू ए स्क्वायर सो नाउ इट इज वेरी इजी टू कैलकुलेट द प्लेनर डेंसिटी क्या होगी प्लेन वन वन जीरो के लिए प्लेन वन वन जीरो के लिए क्या रहेगी बताओ वेरी इजी सो प्लेनर डेंसिटी फॉर प्लेन वन वन जीरो विल बी इक्वल टू एटम कितने हैं नंबर ऑफ एटम्स प्लेन में आ, ये वन फोर्थ वन फोर्थ वन फोर्थ वन फोर्थ मिला के एक हो गया डिवाइडेड बाय दिस एरिया रूट टू ए स्क्वायर वेर ए इन मिलीमीटर सो दिस इज द प्लेनर डेंसिटी फॉर सिंपल क्यूबिक प्लेन कौन सा था वन वन जीरो नाउ लेट अस टेक प्लेन वन 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 सो हियर वन सेकेंड सी because for the area calculation i am showing you for the first time hence further i am not going to tell how to get this area okay so see here plane 1 1 1 nikalo draw the plane 1 1 1 on x y z axis very easy we have drawn what is the name of plane e d g isn't it so this is plane 1 One and one. So this is our plane. For this plane, we are going to find out the planar density, isn't it? Or अब यहाँ पे क्या है? ये triangular, isn't it? So at every corner, ये triangle में कितना ले लेगा? 360 में से ये चीज़ equilateral triangle, isn't it? So what is? This is E, D, and G. We know. So if this is equilateral triangle. of side what root 2a root 2a root 2a isn't it now see here so 360 ye kitna angle hai 60 degree so 60 degree bata 360 so kitna ho gaya 1 by 6 cover kar dega 1 by 6 fraction of the whole atom so kitne hai yahan pe 1 2 3 so multiply by 3 so kitne hai so ek जो प्लेन ई डी जी दैट इज प्लेन आवर वन 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 कितने आइटम लेता है प्लेन में तो थ्री बाय सिक्स दैट इज पॉइंट फाइव आइटम्स लेगा नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स कितने आएंगे इस ट्राइंगुलर प्लेन में सो प्लीज टेल मी What is area? Area क्या आता है इक्विलेटर ट्राइंगल का वी नो थ्री रूट थ्री बाय फोर इन टू साइड स्क्वायर वेरी इजी ओके वी नो दिस सो साइड कितनी है इसकी इक्विलेटर ट्राइंगल की रूट टू टाइम्स ए सो रूट थ्री बाय फोर इन टू रूट टू ए होल स्क्वायर क्या आएगा इसका रूट थ्री बाय फोर रूट टू स्क्वायर टू इंटू ए स्क्वायर सो क्या हो गया इट इज रूट थ्री ओवर टू ए स्क्वायर दिस विल बी द एरिया ऑफ दिस प्लेन इज एंड इट ये प्लेन ई डी जी का प्लेन ई डी जी का एरिया क्या होगा एरिया ऑफ प्लेन ई डी जी क्या आएगा रूट थ्री बाय टू ए स्क्वायर एंड हाउ मेन नंबर ऑफ एटम्स इन दिस प्लेन नंबर ऑफ एटम्स कितने हैं One half, isn't it? One half. That is point five. So, what is the planar density for this? Planar density क्या आएगी इसके लिए? इस plane के लिए plane D और plane E D G के लिए that is half. That is zero point five divided by root three over two times a square. So, if I write like this, one upon two. So, two two get cancels. So one upon root three क्या होता है हमेशा zero point five seven seven zero point five seven seven over a square where a in mm this is the planar density for the simple cubic structure for which plane one 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 okay dear students after seeing this planar density for the uh, simple cubic we will see this planar density for the body centered body centered cubic structure 
we will see it for the BCC and which planes we are going to see plane 1 0 0 plane 1 1 0 and plane 1 1 1 okay so in BCC structure there is one atom at the body center isn't it there is one body centered atom let us see it but in which plane it is going to come let us see here so if you join the diagonals So somewhere here it should come and the eight corner atoms one body centered right so in BCC this is A B C D E F G H okay if I take the plane 100, that is this plane A, B, C, D, we know this. So, see here, there are four corner atoms are going to come here. So, like this. But they are not touching each other. Isn't it? So, in BCC, the plane 100 is going to be look like this with lattice parameter this dimension of this axis a isn't it so how many uh, atoms are there one fourth atoms four times so one fourth four times that will be one single atom and area of the plane will be a square so for 100 zero zero, we can write this planar density rho p as number of atoms are 1 divided by area a square of course where a in millimeter so very simple we got this planar density for plane 100 zero zero. same fashion go for plane 110 how this plane will look like for body centered cubic so of course it will look like this because here center atom going to come and it is touching to all these four corner atoms isn't it so i will draw the diagram here you can understand plane one one zero i am going to draw for this bcc body centered cubic And we know what is that plane? A, F, G, D, isn't it? So this is the plane. 1, 1, 0. So in this plane, see, this A, F, sorry, A, B, C, D, E, F, this is G, isn't it? So this is so this is our plane A, F, G, D. That is plane 1, 1, 0. We have seen many times. So how many atoms are there? See, this center atom is going to come here. Okay. Because the plane is passing through that complete atom. Definitely it should come here. And of course the corner atoms like this okay so this is this plane for BCC okay so same here I am showing this is plane A F G D and we know that what is the length of this DG 
we have calculated what is the length root 2 times a and this is the when center atom is going to come is that it so how many number of atoms in this plane so one fourth four times plus one complete atom there are two number of atoms in this plane and what is area of this plane that is root 2 into a into this is a into a that is area will be root 2 a square so find out this density rho p for this plane 110 this number of atoms 2 divided by root 2 a square so it will be 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 divided by root 2 a square that will be this get cancelled so root 2 divided by a square this is the planar density for plane 110 very simple so body centered my plane 100 ho gaya plane 110 ho gaya let us see for plane 111 that is plane e g and d isn't it x y and z so this is the plane one one and one isn't it this is plane E G D isn't it? So this is this plane. Plane one one one. Now see here, this plane is not passing through this body centered atom. Please remember. So here we are having these three atoms at the corners, isn't it? Of course there is body centered atom, but this plane is not passing through that. Please remember here very important thing. The center atom is there, but see this plane E. G D is not passing through this center atom therefore we are not going to consider it so how this plane will look like this only so here one atom just these three one fourth atoms that we are going to see not one fourth because this is 60 divided by 360 that is one sixth isn't it so number of atoms will be how many plane E D G and what is the length of DG root 2a all the lengths are root 2a equilateral triangle root 2a and what is area area will be what root 3 by 4 into side of this equilateral triangle square that is root 3 by 4 into side kya hai? root 2 times a whole square so what is this root 3 by 4 into 2 a square that is it will be root 3 upon 2 times a square this is the area in millimeter square because a is in millimeter and how many number of atoms here 1 2 3 so number of atoms i will write here number of atoms kitne hai plane mein 1 sixth of how many 1 2 3 that is half 0.5 atom is there so calculate this planar density what is formula and number of atoms divided by area of plane number of atoms kitne half into area of plane root 3 over 2 a square so again it is 0 0.577 upon a square this is the planar density where a in millimeter square don't forget okay so how many number of atoms are there 0 0.577 per unit area for this plane 111 like this we can calculate for bcc this planar density same fashion we can go for the face centered cubic structure let us go and see that now we will see this planar density for rho p for face centered face centered cubic structure for fcc isn't it and of course which plane we are going to see one zero zero 
110 and 111. So these three planes we are going to see. Let us see for this first plane FCC me kya aega? So there will be face atoms. Or every face there will be one atom and four corner atoms. So plane one one I am taking one sorry plane one zero zero I am taking here. That is A B C D. Isn't it? And there is one atom center atom at the on the face actually. Isn't it? So this is the face center cubic structure. And I am taking here plane directly. I am taking plane A, B, C, D. So on the corner atoms, one fourth of atom is there. on the corner. One fourth atoms are, is already there. And on, now on the face there is a one atom. So what are the number of atoms? Number of atoms कितने हो गए यहाँ पे? That is one fourth into four plus one complete at the face center. So it will be one plus one is equal to two. And area very easy, which is see this is side A. So A square. So rho p is how much? Two divided by A square. Two divided by A square, where A in millimeter. So this is the planar density for FCC plane one zero zero. Go for this. How this plane is directly? I am drawing the diagram now. Plane we know. This is which plane? One zero zero. Names A, F, G, D. Four corner pe one fourth to hai hi, isn't it? Okay. Ye four corner pe one fourth hai hi. Now there is on the face, so it will look like this. Okay, so these are the corner, and this one half, two one half on the faces. Okay, so please remember for one zero zero in FCC you will see the structure like this. Okay. We can draw here. So here see plane A B F G. Okay, so here I am showing. So tell me what are the number of atoms? Two half plus four one fourth. That is one plus one. They are two. And area. This is root two a. We know root two times a into a. That is area will be root two times a square. So rho p for plane one one zero kya aega? Number of atoms two divided by root two times a square. That is this two is nothing but root two into root two. Root two root two get cancelled. So root two divided by a square, where a in millimeter. So this is the density, planar density for plane one one zero. Okay, and very fastly you can have. Plane one 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 in face centered cubic. So which plane is there? This plane. E D G. In FCC, how it will look like? So it will look like this. Okay. 
Okay, please remember in FCC this plane ADE is having these atoms. So, how many number of atoms? Number of atoms that is one sixth of three and half kidne hai half of three. So kidne okay. That is half plus three by two, that is four by two, that is two. And what is area of this equilateral triangle root three over four into the side square side kya hai root 2 times a that is root 3 over 4 into root 2 a square so it is root 3 over 4 into 2 a square it will be root 3 by 2 a square isn't it and what will be the planar density for plane 1 1 1 number of atoms 2 divided by root 3 by 2 a square so how much it is 4 upon root 3 times a square let us check let us check it is upon a square so 4 over root 3 4 over root 3 it will be 2.309 I will take 2.31 2.309 about over a square so it will be actually i will take 2.31 divided by a square this is the planar density of plane 1 1 1 where a in millimeter so like this please remember when you talk about the fcc structure then the plane a d e plane a d f g that is plane 1 1 uh, 0 and this plane EDG will look like this okay 111 one, one, kaisa plane it will be look like this okay and this is plane 111 one, one. this is plane 110 one, and this is how in this way we can calculate the planar densities. So in this way we have calculated the planar density for simple cubic, body centered cubic and for face centered cubic. Now after this we are going to see the linear density. Okay let us see it. Dear students before moving further for the linear density let us take one example on this planar density. See here what is the question? The atomic radius of the copper is 1.2 angstrom in it. Calculate the number of copper atoms per square meter on the plane 1, 1, 1. Okay. So here directly uh, they are not mentioning the crystal structure which kind of it is. But yes we know that they have given the metal that is copper is there. And we have seen that copper is having which kind of crystal structure. Hmm. It is of course cubic but which face centered cubic structure. So we know that the copper has the copper has FCC structure and we know that 110 one, 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 plane hota hai? plane DFG hai plane A D Sorry. A, D, F, G is the plane 1, 1, 0. And we know that in FCC, we are getting this number of atoms inside this plane. So, how many these are? Let us see. Calculate. We can calculate. Very easy. And please remember that the question they are giving the lengths in angstrom unit and they are asking per square meter. Okay. So we know that one angstrom unit is how much? 
1 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter isn't it so this is length we know how much it is for FCC root 2 times a and this is a so area is very clear atoms number of atoms kitne hai? number of atoms in the plane that is 1 2 3 1 4 into 4 plus half into 2 the 1 plus 1 equal to 2 and area where is the area how much it is root 2 a square now thing is that they have not given this value of a but they have given what the atomic radius atomic radius that is 1.28 angstrom unit so we know this relation between this a and r that is see this is r this is r plus r that is 2r and this is r and this total distance is how much root 2 times a okay so we can have here this 4r is equal to what root 2 times a so a is how much 4r divided by root 2 is the value of a so put your value of a so kya aega? root 2 into this a square that is 16 r square divided by this 2 so how much it is 8 root 2 into r square is the area we are getting here okay and let us find out the planar density number of atoms 2 divided by area 8 root 2 times r square so it is how much so it will be 1 upon this 4 root 2 and r is how much 1.28 into 10 to the power minus 10 square calculate this 1 upon 4 upon root 2 upon 1.28 e to the power minus 10 upon 1.28 e to the power minus 10 so it is around 1.078 so density Planar density is 1.078 into 10 to the power 19 into 10 to the power 19 or I can have 10.78 into 10 to the power 18 number of atoms per meter square per meter square. So let me check the answer is what it is 10.79 into 10 to the power 18 atoms per square meter that is very much correct answer so if they want to ask the question they want to formulate the numerical they can ask you like this on planar density where is so next thing we are going to learn that linear atomic or simply linear density which is represented by rho l how to represent this the rho l so actually this can be given by the formula these are the number of atoms in the direction divided by the length of direction actually this royal is depends upon the crystal structure and the direction please remember okay so for example the line is passing through this or the direction is like this or direction is complete like this passing through the origin okay 
and it is like this. So here the half atom is passing through the center here complete complete atom is passing through the center that is this half and this half is equal to 1 but here it is not passing through some through the center not passing through the center okay so let us see how to calculate this linear atomic density for example we will take the simple cubic see how to calculate very easy so I will take the question here determine the linear density for a for a simple cubic structure simple cubic structure in terms of in terms of atomic radius r for given below crystallographic direction for given below crystallographic directions kon kon se direction diye direction diye hai 100 then 101 and direction 1 1 1 okay so let us calculate take this plane here first so this is the plotting of this plane okay 1 0 0 so this is origin this is x, this is y, this is z. x1, y0, z0. So see I am drawing here. So from here the direction you see, I am going to see the direction. So this is the 1, 0, 0, isn't it? So this is the direction and see from origin, see. I am having here the half atom and up to here. I am having this half okay and what is the length of this uh, lattice parameter this is a a everywhere this is cube isn't it so the length will be a so very easy to calculate now and they are fine asking to find in terms of radius r so you know that in FCC this corner atoms are touching with each other so this a will be nothing but what this is r plus r 2 r we know this so a we know that is 2 r we know how many atoms are there half plus half so what is this linear atomic density rho l will be number of atoms in the direction here direction me kitne direction 1 0 0 me ye direction jo hai origin se leke kitne atoms hai half plus half divided by what is the length a a is nothing but what 2 r that is rho l is equal to half plus half that is 1 divided by 2 r that is the number of atoms per unit length number of atoms per unit length or here in terms of radius we are writing very easy so ye plane ho gaya or ye direction ho gayi 1 0 0 now take the next direction 1 0 1 where it is let us see y z this is x this is the origin here okay now from here 1 x1 y0 and z1 so this is 1 comma 0 comma 0 this is 0 
कॉमा जीरो कॉमा जेड एक्सिस खाली दिखा रहा हूँ दैट इज वन एंड वाई इज जीरो 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 एक्चुअली सो आई कैन गेट हियर नो नीड टू राइट दिस यू कैन हैव दिस वन जीरो वन फ्रॉम हियर एंड इट इज पासिंग थ्रू द हाफ ऑफ द एटम सी हियर दैट इज हाफ हियर एंड हियर ऑल्सो द हाफ जिस लेटर सी दिस इज अवर डायरेक्शन ओके सो हियर हाफ एटम एंड हियर हाफ एटम एंड वॉट इज दी लेंथ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यहाँ पे लेंथ कितनी थी ए थी इज एट इट बट दिस इज ए दिस इज ए सो दिस लेंथ बिकम द डायगोन ऑल ऑफ दिस फेस वन फेस ऑफ द क्यूब एंड वी नो हाउ मच इट इज रूट टू टाइम्स ए इज एट इट सो फाइंड आउट दिस लीनियर डेंसिटी फॉर दिस सो नंबर ऑफ एटम्स कितने हो गए हाफ प्लस हाफ That is one divided by length of this direction. Kitni hai root two times a. But we know a is how much in terms of simple cubic structure. A is nothing but equal to two times r, which is equal to a. Put here value of a. So you will get here one upon root two into two r. That is one upon two root two times a per unit length. Is that it? One upon two root two times a. Sorry, a is a nothing but here r. So very correct. This is the linear atomic density for the direction one zero one one y zero one. Is that it? Very easy. And the third direction, what is it? Here direction. वन 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 के लिए ऑलरेडी रिटर्न सो आई विल शो हियर द डायरेक्शन वन 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 सो डायरेक्शन वन वन इज वेर एक्स वन वाई वन एंड जेड वन सो दिस इज द पॉइंट और दिस इज द डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम ओरिजिन ही एक्स वाई एंड इट इज जेड एंड ओरिजिन इज हियर so this is the point or the direction 1 1 so here is half atom and here is also the half atom and length kitni ho gayi so this distance is nothing but what it is the diagonal of the cube it is the diagonal diagonal of the cube and what is the value of diagonal of the cube diagonal of the cube kitna hota hai it is root 3 times a and a is equal to we you know 2 r so we can easily calculate the linear density will be number of atoms in the direction kitne hai half plus half half plus half divided by the length that is nothing but the diagonal of the cube root 3 times 2 r That is one upon two root three r. Very important, very very important. So, like this, we can calculate the linear densities for the given directions also. Very easy. So, in this way, we have seen in the indexing of the lattices uh, in the plane, where we have discussed about what is the uh, crystallographic planes how it is represented then how to represent the single plane how to represent the family of the plane then we have learned about the miller indices then its some properties and planar density and finally the linear atomic density thank you so much